Welcome to Stitch. Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. Lucius Aeneas Seneca. Every year, 703,000 people die worldwide. And there are many more people who attempt suicide. But yet we rarely talk about it. Suicide can be a taboo topic. Often people who are feeling suicidal don't want to worry or burden anyone with how they feel. And so they don't discuss it. But by asking someone directly about suicide, you give them permission to tell you how they feel. People who have felt suicidal will often say what a huge relief it was to be able to talk about what they were experiencing. Once someone starts talking, they've got a better chance of discovering options that aren't suicide. Official figures published by the ONS show that in England and Wales, 163 police officers' deaths between 2011 and 2019 were classified as suicide or of undetermined intent. Every two weeks, a police officer dies by suicide in the UK. In my time as a police chaplain across two forces, I have been involved in five suicides of police officers and staff, and that is five too many. Sadly, I have been aware of many more. The suicide of a police officer or staff member is not only a tragic loss of life, but also has a profound and lasting impact on colleagues and the organisation as well. We describe ourselves as a police family, and when we lose a member of that family, the loss is far-reaching. Policing is by its nature a stressful job, and officers and staff are exposed to some of life's most challenging situations on a daily basis. This Mental Health Awareness Week, my plea is that we as a force can work together to stop our friends, family and colleagues joining the 703,000. We cannot be certain that someone is thinking about suicide without asking directly. There are often signs we can look out for which indicate someone could be considering ending their life and it's time to ask. Signs can manifest in many ways. Someone having thoughts of suicide may be giving away possessions, withdrawing socially, withdrawing socially, acting impulsively or self-harming. You may have noticed that they are feeling hopeless, sad, lonely, angry or worthless. Perhaps they are displaying physical changes such as self-neglect, a disrupted sleep pattern or loss of appetite. They may be struggling with mental health issues such as depression, anxiety or an eating disorder. Someone who is suicidal may also express this through verbal cues. Everyone will be better off without me. All of my problems will end soon. I just can't take it anymore. I want to die. Unexpected positive changes in a person's behaviour could also signal thoughts of suicide. The key is to trust your intuition. If you have an uneasy feeling something is not okay, use this to explore suicide with the person you are concerned about. Let's work together to prevent suicide amongst those we know and love. And let's break the taboo by committing to talk to each other about it. Suicide, a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Phil Donoghue. And I'll leave you with that. Till next time.